Well, hello, darling. Guys, welcome back. How are we today? Today, we are going to be doing a cheeky little build. I thought about doing a little starter home, to be honest. I'm really into doing like the whole blue suburban kind of thing, but I don't know. We'll see where we go. I'm unsure. If I'm gonna be completely transparent with you guys, I did actually film another video, um, which was a shell challenge, which I will, I will do at some point. Just didn't like the video. It didn't really come out how I wanted it to. So I thought, you know what? Let's grab that one. Let's do this instead. So, here we are in gorgeous, is it Newcrest, the place that we live? I always build in Newcrest because it's full of empty lots. We're just going to ignore my um my speed build situation. That's kind of like my designated speed build lot. We're going to ignore that. But we are going to be building a starter home. Now, I think the starting amount is 20,000. Correct me if I'm wrong. Well, I hope I'm not wrong because we've already built the property by the time you're seeing this. So, you know. That is what it is. <laughs> I mean, we could do some interesting roofing. I personally love a gable roof. Like, that's just my aesthetic. I love a gable roof. Don't come for me. But maybe we could go for something like a bit more modern, perhaps. Okay, well, if this is like a modern house, I feel like it's going to be a very like pristine kind of a house. You know, it's gonna be very untouched. Very pristine. This is so far from how I thought this was gonna go. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So we've got like a little L-shaped stair situation. Don't really know what I'm gonna do with this whole um, malarkey up here, but I think this is kind of a mood. Like it's, it's... oh God, what have I done here? Oh shit. <laughs> Does this look right? Maybe we just need to bear with the process. Maybe the, maybe we just, we just need to bear with it. Maybe the process, we just need to go with it and see what happens. Maybe it's one of those things that when it's finished, it'll be like, oh, okay, I get it. Maybe it's just one of those moments, you know? Okay, this is getting, and this is becoming an interesting build. I don't know where we're going with it, but it, something's happening, okay? So downstairs, there's gonna be a kitchen area and a living room. And I think upstairs we'll have a toilet somewhere. Oh God, guys, where's the toilet gonna go? Please tell me somebody here remembers The Sims. Was it The Sims 2? The Sims 2 Ikea, I'm sure it was called. Oh my God, that was a pack. With starter homes, I do like to have like plenty of, um, skill building activities, you know? Actually, oh, I like those, but they, <laughs> They just look really uncomfy. Like, there's no need for that table to look so uncomfortable. <laughs> I personally would not want to eat at this table. Here we go, guys. This isn't an ugly starter home. This is not too bad. We're at 13,000 as well, which means we have still got some cash money to spend. Where would we have been without just the simple saucer, guys? Where would we have been? I mean, for real. Where would we have been? I can't bring myself to give them a shitty bed because you're just going to wake up with a bad back. You're going to be shouting at me going, George, you start at home shit because I've got a bad back. <laughs> and then, do you know what? I might even spoil them. I might even spoil them. I might get them a table lamp. You're welcome, darling. You are very much welcome. So like my all time favorite curtains at the minute. How much is that to spend? <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Maybe we'll just pop in a little coat rack. That'll make the world a difference. There we go. <laughs> but how much money have I got? Cause I still got a patio, but I've not even touched. Ooh. Never used the stepping stones before. That's quite fun. These hedges are so cheap. Look, we're 20 pounds. The trick to landscaping well is layering with the BB Move objects. Like that is just a staple. I feel like every, every simmer does this. This is looking great. To say I have no money whatsoever. My God. 
Oh, my bathroom has a glass ceiling. Okay, that's kind of cool. That is kind of cool, unless you're in a helicopter, but that would be bad. I might just pop out here because I have got a bit of money left. Now, guys, I don't want to leave you completely hard and broke and like done in. We could just pop an easel out here, like just a little one. Hey, this one's only 350. And it matches my wood tones. There we go. So at least now the patio doesn't look just completely empty, which is nice. I would have liked to have done some, oh, I suppose, could we do some debug stuff? Am I allowed? Fuck it, it's my house. I can do debug if I want to. <laughs> oh, she's gone wild, guys. She has gone wild. There we go, a bit of debug doesn't hurt anybody, does it? I feel like I spent this whole episode trying to justify things, which I maybe shouldn't have done, but hey. No, maybe two, no one. No, just leave it. Oh my God, get out of it. Get out of debug. Get out of debug. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, this is so cute. And guys, you still have about 900 simoleons there. Right, let me save this. Then I'm going to go and grab one of my fabulous sims to go and move in here and I'll give you the grand tour. Right, my darlings, we are here at our fabulous new starter home. Isn't she gorgeous? She looks very chic, I have to say. As the first time doing a starter home, very chic, I'm into it. So we come through our fabulous front door and greeted with the dining table, which quite frankly, does actually look quite warm and friendly. It does, I, I would sit there, I would. Maybe you guys could get a laptop or something and put it on the table. Above you, we have a glass roof. Now this just looks so extra. Don't ask me how you clean it. I don't wanna know. That's for you to worry about, darling. The kitchen, I will admit, isn't very cluttered. I normally like to clutter it a bit more than this, but you guys can clutter it yourselves. That's fine, you'll get there. Living room, you've got your scale building, your TV, the standards, get that mood up. Out here, we do have a patio with just some scale building activities. I've never used the bonsai tree before, so I'm quite excited to try this, see what happens. I'm probably gonna butcher it on my first try. Gorgeous foliage, the views, the pots, oh, gorgeous, and the debugs. Debug is a lifesaver, I have to say. I do enjoy a bit of debug. Moving on upstairs. Oh my goodness, here she goes, here she goes. To our left, we have our fabulous bathroom, which you might be thinking, George has no windows. Girl, look up to the ceiling, you've got a fabulous skylight, uh, all around skylight, which, I mean, I don't know how I'd feel sat on the loo looking up at the sky, but you know, that would be fine. It could be quite interesting. Nice, quaint little bathroom. Over here to the left when you come out on the landing is your fabulous boudoir. Now I have to say, this bedroom is actually, it looks so comfy. I love it, it's so cozy. Coming out onto your fabulous balcony, which, oh, look at those views, guys. Look at them. Oh, my God. Honestly, new crest and new crest. Little fishing hole over there. Oh, living the high life, honestly. Living the high life. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Girl, enjoy the screenshot. <laughs> I am gonna go and start my new sim life in this gorgeous home. I have to say, I'm going to go start a new sim. I don't know who, what kind of sim would live here. I'm guessing somebody a bit snooty would want to live in a house like this, but I'm going to go and do that now. Have a fabulous day and I'll be back very soon. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. Hello, if you haven't subscribed by now, girl, are you serious? Girl, subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.